Being able to practice with the community here has been completely enriching. It was actually at one point when I was sitting in the meditation hall and the sisters were sitting in front of me and I uh, noted in my mind that I wouldn't be here if they weren't there. And they hold that space for me, whether I'm here or I'm not. And Deer Park appeared as a, a wish or a, a dream of the local lake community wanting to establish a practice center. A lot of the buildings that we use today were already here, but they were in, in pretty bad shape. The buildings were in shambles, most uh, glasses were shattered, and there was bullet holes through the walls. So the amount of time, energy, and love that the, the original community that get Deer Park up and rolling put in is, is quite amazing when you reflect on it. We're hoping that we'll be able to uh, manifest the nunnery project soon and we've been hoping for this for a long time and plans have been made, a lot of work and reflection on where and how and it's wonderful to be able to build a earth-friendly and environmental sustainable building that also have a you know, healthy and, and, and community-based living for the sisters in Clarity Hamlet. My room is very small and it's in the pool house area. It's a place where people used to change uh, to get into the pool. <laughs> right now, we're a bit scattered here and there. There's 14 there, there's two there, there's three there, and we're separated. We're sort of limited to how many times we meet them in a the day. When we see each other, we live with each other, we understand each other, not only through what we share by our words, but we share with how we live with one another. Being able to live with one another, it will be able to help us understand each other more, open our hearts more, and being more acceptant to our sisters. And then that would also be um, a door opening or a heart opening for us to be more open and more accepting and more understanding, at the same time more loving to the friends that come here. Hubble and Hubble Architects have designed a energy efficient, environmentally friendly construction that's going to house about 40 nuns, as well as a new hut for Thai. That space that is still habitable, we're going to designate that to lay practice. You know, expanding that space for our female practitioners to come, that just widens and deepens, you know, the, the invitation to come and practice at Deer Park. One time, one of the lay friends asked, uh, when will the project start? <laughs> will it be done by this year? And uh, I answered him, it's like, the project is already done. The idea of having the nuns live together, having the nuns be happy with one another, it's there. Of course, there's this excitement for the real building, but already at the moment we have that shelter in which we cover, shelter one another is through that understanding and that love that we, we hold. Supporting the construction of a new space for the sisters to live and to practice together, to me, seems like a very small gift back for all the support, encouragement um, that they've provided me in my personal practice. The greatest gift that you can give the community is always your beautiful practice. But if you'd like to support the construction of the new nunnery, we're encouraging people to donate directly to the Thich Nhat Hanh Foundation specifying nunnery and to visit our website at deerparknunnery.org. <laughs>